Good morning, it's September 15th. I'm Steve Roach, the editor of Coin World, and this is your Monday Morning Brief. This week, we look at Beth Dicer's new book, Cash in Your Coins, Selling the Rare Coins You've Inherited. It was released this past weekend, and this week's issue of Coin World, dated September 29th, it shares the part that she wrote on taxes. Now, estate planning is not a sexy part of coin collecting, but it's necessary. When I speak on estate planning for one's coin collection to coin collectors, I tell the audience, now you know what's in your collection, but does your significant other, do your kids, does your estate planner? It's different than the conversation I have when talking about estate planning for coin collection to attorneys and estate planners. I remind them that a coin collection can be a really hard to value asset, but it could make up a significant portion of a client's total net worth. A hard fact, most people don't like to think about what happens to their things when they're gone, and this includes their coin collections. The first step, it's not that hard. It doesn't have to be that complex. It can be as basic as an inventory that has enough information for a non-numismatist to locate and identify items, and for a numismatist to provide a value on it. Photographs help, as does a list of trusted resources that your non-collecting heirs can turn to for guidance. Beth's cover says it all. It defines it as the book that belongs in every coin collector's safe deposit box. Another great resource for understanding taxes, coins, and is the Industry Council for Tangible Assets, or ITCA. Collections should be thought of as investments and cared for as such. Now, with some careful planning, a collection can provide a legacy that can provide for one's loved ones. But without a thoughtful plan, a collection might end up being sold for a fraction of its value, or worse, might simply disappear. So I'm Steve Roach. Thanks for watching. It's your Monday morning brief, and I'll see you soon.